day. For today's lesson, we're going to deal with elements and compounds. When brushing our teeth, we use toothpaste. Toothpaste contains fluoride. Fluoride is made up of fluorine, a toxic chemical. Is it safe? To understand, let us discuss elements and compounds. Remember that substance and matter are broken down into two categories. They can either be pure substance or mixture. Pure substance are further broken down into elements and compounds. Any substance is composed of one type of atom or molecule, whereas mixture are composed of different types of atoms or molecules that are not chemically bonded. Elements A chemical element is a pure substance that consists of one type of atom. Each atom has an atomic number which represents the number of protons that are in the nucleus of a single atom of the element. The periodic table of element is ordered by ascending atomic number. The chemical elements are divided into metals, metalloids, and non-metals. Metals are typically found at the left side of the periodic table. They are often conductive to electricity, malleable, shiny, and sometimes magnetic while non-metals are found at the right side of the periodic table. They are typically not conductive, not malleable, dull, and not magnetic. Example of non-metals are carbon and oxygen. Metalloids have some characteristics of metals and some characteristics of non-metal. Silicon and arsenic are the examples of metalloids. Out of 118 elements, 4 are present in the human body. Hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen. Isn't it amazing that even our body contains elements? Compounds are a pure substance composed of two or more different elements joined by a chemical bond. These chemical bonds can only be separated by other chemicals. You cannot physically pull, cut, or tear a compound apart. A compound is made up of elements in a specific ratio. Salt is a common compound. What two elements is it made from? It is sodium and chlorine that makes it sodium chloride. To wrap up, elements contains only one kind of atom, while compounds contains two or more kinds of atom. Now, let's determine whether the image is an element or a compound. The first one is copper. You got it right. Copper is an element. Next, sugar. Yes, sugar is a compound. It has two or more elements, namely carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Now, we can answer the question, is it safe to put fluoride in the toothpaste? The answer is yes, it is put on toothpaste because our body needs a strong, decay-resistant teeth. That's it! I hope you learned a lot from today's session. Thank you so much for tuning in.